Hello my dear kids very good evening this is sundar rabindranathan here hey guys how is everybody apologies for the initial glitch i do not know you know what uh, what was happening so i just kind of had to restream it and now i think i hope things are fine yeah okay so what is in store today we are continuing with part 2 today we will deal with a couple of wonderful history chapters for pariksha yeah Okay. So who are all here? Let me see. Melroy, welcome back. The Learn Show, Shraddha. Yes, I do. I do. Shalini, hi Atar. Ritu, Neha, Rudra, Sabhum, Asphalt, Talkier, guys. Super happy to see all of you. So. Let us move on slowly and steadily. Yeah. Hi Neha, welcome, welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. I hope you enjoy the session. Yeah. Cool. Shall we start? You guys ready? All gunned and geared. Okay. Shraddha is saying, sir, what's today? Let's see. Before that, someone for someone like Neha who is new. This channel is for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders typically, and uh, we have both academic and non-academic offerings in the channel. Entire channel is free. Live classes mostly you will see every class at the end. You know most of the times we'll have a live interactive quiz. Even today we have that. You call it as a menti quiz. So full year syllabus can support when it comes to academics, mathematics, science, social, and English are the subjects that we cover. Non-academically a lot of stuff. Very you know. intriguing stuff you know, i want to learn about space i want to know how the video games are created i want to know right what is a black hole i want to know how to become an ias officer i want to know how to become a scientist you know what i want to know what are the best books to read for me at my in my age what are the best mobile apps to use everything you will see content inside the channel so don't forget to subscribe yes Hello Garvet long time hi akshara not an issue so melroy saying sir tell us will chapter uh, chapter are we going to learn so this is the time table today on the 1st of march grade 6 ka part 2 we already dealt with part 1 that was geo now tomorrow we'll have grade 7 ka part 2 and part 3 tomorrow and day after again we will move back to Grade six, sorry. Uh, I think I didn't see this. Show this. Grade seven ka part four, two, three, four on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All grade seven. So today we will have grade six part two history. Shall we? Yes. Okay. Homework for yesterday. Brigand, hi. happy mahashivaratri to every one of you homework what was the homework the star which indicates north that was pole star all of you know that right that was the right answer which divides the eastern all uh, right the earth into eastern and western northern and southern is what we have in equator equator you will see that you know you will see both the side one side northern and the other side southern but when it comes to eastern and western it is a prime meridian which divides the eastern and western hemispheres 
Cool? So guys, the point is, who are the first few who answered it right? I'm sure these were easy questions. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Saboom Krigu, Akshay and Swarnim Pandey. Hi. Guys, great job done. Kudos to all of you. Right? That's the kickstart I wanted. Four of you for lightning fast to answer yesterday. So let's keep it going. Okay? Right. Okay, this is not a fun fact, it's more like a means. So when you suddenly realize that you have exam the next morning, this is how we wake up, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. So let us start, what are the chapters that we are going to cover? What, what, where, how and when? Yeah, so this is first chapter. What is another chapter? So it's here typically it's all about what we, we found out about the past, right? What can we know about the past, for how, what and how people lived, the different types of lands, names of them. So typically finding out about the past, what, where, how and when. The next chapter, how the early man evolved, starting from hunter gatherers to a farmer. Correct. So these are the two chapters that we will be covering today. Typically my dear kids, remember this. Our focus will be on from an exam point of view, what are the two mark questions and the five mark questions. Cool? Ready all of you? Here we go. Two markers. I want all of you to kind of pounce the moment, right? I give you the question, try and answer as fast as possible. Let us see. Here we go. First one, question number one on all your screens. And the question. So guys, why do you think ordinary men and women did not keep record of how their life went? So you look at uh, kings, you look at, you know, popular people, right? The celebrities or uh, rich people and all. They almost like wrote biographies in different forms, even in the, in the olden days. But why ordinary men and women did not do that or could not do that? Why? So, someone is saying they thought it's not important. Valid point. What is the other, uh, what is the other, which is the major reason, primary reason? It was hard to keep records. Yeah. It involved, it involved a lot of time, money, right? And it's not that easy. So the answer, unlike the present day, record keeping was not very easy. It was done by kings to describe about their achievements, victories in the battles, number one. And the record, it was not that easy. They have to inscribe, what are inscriptions? Something written on hard surfaces like stones and metals, right? These things have to be in the olden days have to be inscribed on stones. For an ordinary person, it's not important and easy. Both. Clear? All of you? Simple, right? Because primarily it was not an easy job. Yes? Okay. Hi, Tanishka. Question number two. What were the problems people, you know, faced by people? Who kept traveling from one place to another part of the subcontinent? What were the problems fa they faced? All right, people who kept, who traveled from one part to the other part of the subcontinent. 
नो शेल्टर ओके फूड ओके राइट टिपिकली द लैंड फॉर्म्स दे हैड टू गो थ्रू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ डिफिकल्ट लैंड मॉ यू नो फॉर्म्स लाइक deserts rivers seas that made the journey a lot adventurous and dangerous and sometimes even forests more importantly so that made the entire journey very dangerous okay this was a major challenge that they found when it comes to them traveling between different parts of the subcontinent hi sneha wishing you many many more happy returns of the day in advance god bless yogesh is saying sir they can, apart from that they can't take all the things with them it's very difficult valid point question number 3 hi keshika guys what is the third question here it is one major difference between manuscripts and inscriptions only one quickly bang come on tell me what is it simple i already spoke i gave you one one uh, feature of inscriptions already the same is what you can you, have, you can say and you have to say major difference between manuscripts and inscriptions one what just list one <clears throat> manuscripts mostly are written in palm leaves and they are also written in uh, box of a specific kind of a plant called birch right these are this is about manuscript where in inscriptions are typically written on hard surfaces like stones <clears throat> clear so manuscripts written by in palm leaves are the box of the tree birch or wherein a birch typically grows in the himalayas inscriptions are generally written like like how a, you know a, a sculptor does right they are engraved on a stone or metal focus focus merunisa focus guys give me a yo if you're clear quick 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 let me see how clear you are hmm copper plates that happened a little later before this inscriptions manuscripts started well before that okay fourth one to marker why do people who go grow, grow crops they have to stay in the same place for a long time why good one some people when they you know farmers kind of people who you know grow crops they had to be there in the same place for some time why <clears throat> to take care of them for a long time typical guys the seeds the depending on the crop it took some time for them to starting from seeding to harvesting right so that is one major reason why they had to stay second even after harvesting they need to prepare the produce the grains and then figure out ways to distribute so even for that they had to be in the same place so when they plant a seed it depending on the type of the crop seeds it takes time days weeks months sometimes even years so that means of throughout that time they have to take care of the crops starting from watering weeding ensuring all animals and birds are driven away until the crops ripen right once they feel that you know the it is ripened the harvesting is done they had to figure out ways to store as well as distribute so for all these reasons they you know uh stayed in the same place where they were doing the farming hello anushka nai beta nai beta pragyan okay are you clear with this simple right generally a seed takes a lot of time depending on the seed so until that time they have to be there even once the crop ripens still even after doing that they need to store it and then they need to figure out ways to distribute it so they chose to stay in the same place hi navanidan 
Question number five. Three ways in which hunter gatherers used fire. Beautiful. Guys, list three ways in which hunter gatherers, the early men, how did they use fire? Come on, let me hear it from all of you. Come on, come on, come on. Cook? Yes. Sunita is saying. Drive away animals? Two. Beautiful. Three. Warmth during winter. Awesome. So look at here. Clearing forest area for doing the cultivation also. Many a times, especially the tribes, they did a you know something called a shifting kind of cultivation where they burned down the forest, a part of the forest, used that you know ashes as manure, right, and did the farming there. Second is cooking. Third is protection from animals. And of course, I would agree with the fourth one, even to keep the warmth during winter. Good guys, good, good, good. Great job done. So question number six. Ready all of you? Guys, I hope all of you are mentally traveling with me, right? As I move from one question to another, you are traveling, you are understanding and you're all clear. Correct? Hi Viraj, thank you. Archana, yes ma'am, yes. Yes is enough. Or yes Sundar. Okay. Discuss in short the art of rock paintings done by the people of early stone age. Hmm. Guys, which state do you find the rock paintings? Rock paintings typically. Any idea which state was that? How many of you say, sir, it was Gagandeep is saying Maharashtra. No. Yeah, Paleolithic age. Who is that? Gopal, good, 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 Madhya Pradesh, keep it up. So guys, many of the caves, typically in the, you know, early people who lived in the Paleolithic, Mesolithic age, right? They have painted in the walls of those caves. Example, typically you will see in MP and UP. MP is known for it. And these paintings inside the caves, they show wild animals written uh, or painted so clearly and with a lot of accuracy. Right. That was really surprising and shocking for our people when they found them out. And you know what? They were lasting even today. They did not wear off even after hundreds of years. Hi, H7R Gaming. If you are... Uh, cool. Guys, tell us are you clear? Two markers are done. Almost. Six questions done. So guys, let me tell this. Last few few days, probably just a few weeks for your exams. A perfect time for all of you to take up Vedantu's crash course for subscription. Subscription where we teach you math, physics, chemistry, biology, English and social. We clear all your doubts. Concepts will be cleared, very, made very, very clear for you. You will be clear and you will be learning with fun. And we make you, we know the knack of making you, how to make you get a lot of good marks. Very high marks. So, we give you a lot of assignments accordingly. We make you write a lot of mock tests accordingly. And we will ensure that the revision plan is clear cut for you to complete the entire syllabus. Oh. So welcome to Vedantu's live and interactive course. What is so special? Live classes from amazing teachers. You will see they make it simple and fun guys. As simple as that. Right? We cover the entire syllabus. We know how to fast track it. And uh, notes. We give you a lot of notes. In one click you can download all the notes for your permanent reference. And doubts are super important. Right? If you want to score high marks. All your doubts should be solved. That's what we do inside the class. Clarify on concepts by making you write a lot of assignments. We make you write a lot of topic wise assignments so that you don't forget anything. And we make you write a take up a lot of tests. Two things happen when you keep taking tests. 
you will know the pattern of your exam you know, so what pos questions can possibly come number one number two you will also understand that you never you you don't really forget anything you will be so confident so guys on top of this micro courses small small topic wise concept wise courses given to you absolutely free so i was speaking about crash course for grade 6 grade 7 grade 8 you see a blue color link in your description box click on the link you will it will ask you for your grade and your board type that you will come here you see there are two types of subscription one is called light other is classic only one difference between the two if your requirement is sir i want to learn from those such amazing teachers i want tests i want assignments i want doubts to be solved inside the class it's light you can take up light subscription sir i want all these things but i also want doubt solving outside the class as well through a mobile app that is classic okay look at those prices how many subjects did i say i told you entire year syllabus ka crash course 500 rupees even there since you're watching this session click on apply coupon and type s r p r o this is the coupon code s r p r o even that 500 becomes 450 awesome right classic which is 600 becomes 540 once you click on apply coupon type s r p r o so link is there in the description box coupon code is s r p r o guys all the best now coming to five markers and then we are off to a menti ready nimala andral people will be reaching out to you don't worry manju keep watching the comment section we will be giving you the pdfs question 7 for a five marker what are the different ways by which we can find out about the past? There are three major ways. What are they? Come on, come on, come on. What are the different ways to find out about the past? Describe them briefly. What are the three ways? No, video is not blur, guys. By bones, that is typically archaeologists, correct? Excavations. You excavate, you find out something, number one. Number two, inscriptions. Yeah, we have inscriptions which were written thousands of years ago. Number two. Number three, manuscripts, correct? So, you have manuscripts on one side. Handwritten on palm leaves or in the, you know, uh, the bark of the birch tree. So, the manuscripts are about uh, a lot of religious practices, how kings lived, medicine, science. We have so many. Inscriptions, advices, you know, uh, philosophy. And uh, you will see king's orders are even inscribed. So, that people are aware about this. Similarly, the third one is archaeological excavations. People excavate and find out a lot of, you know, remains of the past gives them, you know, a lot of knowledge, a lot of information about how people lived in the past. Three things. Are you clear? Hello, Pihu. Long time. How are you? Guys, give me a yo if you guys are clear. Come on, come on, come on. Super. Right, final question before we get off to a mentee. What were the various reasons for hunter gatherers to move from one place to another? Perfect question. Come on, come on, come on, tell me that. What were the various reasons for hunter gatherers to move from one place to another? Guys, who are hunter gatherers? When man started, right, he didn't he knew only two things. One he found out that he gets hungry. So, what is the way out? At one point in time, I can't bear my hunger. I started, all right, killing animals which I felt I can eat. Number one. Number two, 
I also started using the plants and I thought I can eat them, gathering them, if which is fruits, branches, right, even leaves. Correct. Though hunters gatherers initially they were, but hunter gatherers kept on moving from one place to another. Number one, search of food. Number two, search of water. Then number three, right. So point number one, you look at it. If they say in the same place, they would have exhausted all the plants and animal resources around. Number one, and number two is they need grasslands continuously for animals to graze. So once they are in the same place, the grass would have got over. They need to move to another place. Number three, search of water. <coughs> right? Plants and trees bear fruit in different seasons sometimes. So once the season is over, they move to another place. Right? Another place where the, that season is there, where they can still get fruits. Okay. And four. That is uh, a little, you know, different, but they still go meet to meet their relatives, their kith and kin, they keep traveling. And five, in search of water. If water gets dried up, they keep moving. Are you guys clear? One, search of food, right, because the entire place would have got exhausted. Right. One, then Season, right? Different seasons, they keep moving. Three, the cattle need grass. Once grassland is over or get exhausted, they keep moving to another place. Four, to meet their kith and kin. Five, in search of water. All of you clear? Guys, is everyone clear? Give me a yo if you're clear. I hope you like the session. Yeah, two markers and five markers. We will get into a mentee now. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on, if you're clear, all clear, sir. All two markers and five, two five markers. I'm absolutely clear. If that is the case, hit the like button. Let me know you liked it. Come on, come on. Let me see how many likes are coming. How many of you are clear? Don't miss it, guys. Come on. Cool. So time for a mentee. Guys, don't 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 follow this. Moving into a mentee now. Forgot the code. So I want everyone to open right the browser window and type www.menti.com. M E N T I. M E N T I menti.com. And type this code 61630189. 61630189. Once again, guys, open your browser, go to the address bar, type www.menti.com. Once you get in there, it will say please enter the code. Type this code 61630189. 61630189. Zero one eight nine. Cool, come on, come on, come on. I want you to be fast. 61630189 menti.com that's the website you have to go to and type this code 61630189 hey guys come on a lot of you haven't joined faster 30 seconds then i'm going to start the quest Rashu, real, real, abhi shuru kiya beta.
Okay, 15 more seconds. First person gonna hit your screens. All right. Five seconds to start the first question. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, first question is going to get into your screens now. The question is, the places where rice was first grown are located in north of the Vindhyas, Sulaiman Hills, on the banks of the Ganga, the Gaxo Hills. The places where rice was first grown. If you had gone through the chapter, you would be able to answer this comfortably. Rice was first grown. How many say? So the right answer is north of Vindhyas. Option A. Let me see. Mm, most of you. Good. Not bad. Keep it up. So one question is done. <coughs> Arben, Nehalika, Mansha, Usha, Aryan. Top 5. Atar, Vyashvini, Vedan, Shraddhan, Shaurya. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So question number two on your screens now. Dash was not used in the old books. In the old books, Prakrit was, language was not used, Hindi was not used, Sanskrit was not used, Tamil was not used. One language was not used at all in the old books. Which language was that? Among this, one language was not used among these four options. Which was that? Yeah. Hindi was not used. At that time, people used more of Prakrit, Hindi or Tamil. Depending on the region where they wrote the book. So, two questions done. I see Arben still at the top. Wow. Followed by Aryan, Usha, Vedant, Snehalika. Top five. Mansha, Yashwini, Atharv. Sir, talk in Hindi. High five. Who is that? Aparna at number 10. So, moving on. Question number 3. So, what is the question? Third one. Here it is. The third one is the kingdom of Magadha. Okay, guys. Where was Magadha located today? Even today, if you look at it, banks of the Indus, south of India's, in the area along Ganga's tributaries in the south of Ganga. Oh, okay. In the Garo Hills, Magadha, where was that? Yeah, Twinkle, someone was saying, someone was saying something, but where is it now? Guys, option C. Option C it is. See, <clears throat> Magadha is always, it is surrounded by Ganga's tributaries. Kingdom of Magadha. So, option C. Many of you got it right. Lovely to see that. I think Usha might get the lead now. Usha, Vedan, Snehalika, Atharvan, Aparna, top 5. Saksham, Arban, Aryan, Mansha, Yashwini. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here it is. Question number four. Buckle up guys, just one more. The Garo Hills are located in the south of India. True or false? The Garo Hills located in the south of India. True or false? So easy. Hi Vardanya. Twinkle, that was the, you know, uh, what do you call, state. So, how many of you say, sir, it is, it is, how many of you say it's false? Look at that equal. 
it is there guys it is it is in the south of india hi nitya good evening 30 of you only got this right oh oh usha went down and athar went down looks like snehalika might take the lead tengalika or yeah she is vedant just two points difference come on guys just one more question remaining saksham aryan usha top 5 Sir Rishika, Atar, Nice and Anuti, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here comes the final decider on your screens now. So stone tools were made with what technique? Which techniques? Stone on stone, pressure flaking, both of them, none of them. Stone on stone, with the stone they create another stone, create a tool out of it. pressure flaking with a lot apply a lot of pressure to create a tool both of them or none of them stone tools i even showed image of of this when i took the class come on both of them guys both of them both the options so who's going to win today let's see snehalika Yes, congratulations Neharika. Great job done. Saksha Musha Sir and Vedant. Great job done. Neharika, congratulations. I'm going to paste this entire leaderboard in the Telegram group today. In Vedant to Young Wonders ka Telegram group. Guys, all of you join the group. Saksha Musha Vedant, right? Uh all of you great job done. Saksha Musha Sir Vedant, all of you. Roshini Atar who is that Anu Anuti Aparna nice amazing amazing keep it up guys guys whoever got the right answers kudos to all of you as well so what is happening let us move on what is homework for today ready fastest few people to write the homeworks in the comment section i will take your names tomorrow Why did hunter gatherers move from one place to another? Search of food, search of shelter, both none of these. Hunter gatherers move from one place to another in search of food, search of shelter, both of these none of these. Ordinary people use prakrit to talk to each other. True or false? Super easy homework today. Guys, I will be, you know, as I said, we have a telegram group with thousands of kids inside so i we normally paste all the updates the the winners the leaderboard inside the telegram group so watch out we teachers keep coming into the telegram group and keep talking to all of you we will uh, post our videos as well so don't miss it all you have to do is type t.me/vedantujunior to join our telegram group follow the instructions in connect all the best looking forward So how was the session did you guys enjoy it all of you hit the like button come on guys without all right spending any more time quickly let me know you liked it or not as simple as that and share the video to your friends and relatives let them get benefited subscribe to the channel whenever you are subscribing enable the bell icon we will send you notifications regularly whenever we are coming out with any class so guys that's it for today until i meet you in the next session This is myself Sundar Ravindranathan signing off kids take care bye bye all of you